Marry Me, the new rom-com that is out now for you guys to go and check out. This stars, obviously, Owen Wilson and Jennifer Lopez as a superstar singer decides that she's going to marry some random dude in the crowd because she was cheated on and now they got to work it out and see where it takes us or do they just do it as a stunt for the public. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this rom-com. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of Marry Me? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe. And let's jump straight into this review of Marry Me. What's on my way to you? Who do you think you are, man? Some fan? No, I'm not a fan. Just... Well, I mean, I am now. Okay, so Marry Me. This, I didn't even know about until I saw the trailer at the theater. And I thought, this is a really cool concept. Like, you have this beautiful singer who's famous as hell, who gets cheated on by a boyfriend, who she's about to marry, and then she just marries some random dude in the crowd, and that happens to be Owen Wilson. Like, okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I like that concept, and I love Owen Wilson. I absolutely love him. I think he's absolutely incredible. And I really like Jennifer Lopez as well. Not just her looks. I do think she's a pretty good actor as well. So I do like to watch her. And uh, honestly, out of the three movies I saw today, this was the last one. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I enjoyed this one the most. I really like this movie a lot. Probably more than I should like it. Like, I watched a mystery crime. I then watched an action Liam Neeson film. And then I watched a rom-com. And I like the rom-com more than the other ones. That's bizarre to me. But, let's get straight into this. Look, I'm going to start off by saying, the concept works really, really well here. And I think Owen Wilson plays a perfect person who is just average and normal like all of us. And I think Jennifer Lopez did a fantastic job as this awesome, famous singer. It's really, really cool concept and it was executed brilliantly. And what I like is what they did with the characters is they made me care for Owen Wilson's character and I rooted for his character the whole entire time. And when certain things happen, you understand where he's coming from and why he's making these decisions and you start to see where, how he sees himself when he's up against her. And I like that. I like how he's the underdog and we're rooting for him. But I think what is the most refreshing about this is the way that the chemistry worked between Jennifer and Owen. It worked so well that when these characters were on screen, it was believable. I could believe that this could actually happen with these people, which is very good when it comes to these concepts. Because when you have a concept like this, you've got to kind of make me believe that this famous chick who is hot as hell would go for this average Joe guy. Just out of nowhere. But what really makes it is how they have the impressions of each other on themselves. Like, Owen Wilson's this average Joe, and she obviously hasn't had that life. But when she's put into that life, and he's like, we need to get the cameras out, and she just starts to be with him in a normal setting, that's when it really, he starts to rub off on her, and she really sees who he is, and he really sees who she really is. And I like how he's the fish out of water when they bring him into the whole famous world, the whole social media world. I thought that was really, really good. I just think the performances from them two really carried this film and it was absolutely brilliant. The daughter was fantastic as she always is in with everything I watch her. I thought she played really, really well. I like her chemistry of Owen Wilson and the bond that they had. And then when Jennifer Lopez's character come in, Kate, and how she bonded with them... It was just so much heart that I wasn't expecting in this film. I thought this was just going to be a dumb rom-com comedy. It's really what I thought it was going to be. But it actually has a lot of heart. And there were some real nice moments where Kate does, some, uh, Kat does something for him that is very powerful and very like, you're sitting there and you're like, oh my god, like, I'm, why am I getting emotional over this? Like, why? This, why am I getting emotional over this? So that's really, really good. I thought some of the songs that they that Jennifer Lopez did for this are freaking catchy as. And I was... I was I'm not going to lie. I was humming along. They are pretty freaking catchy. I also like how um, Bastion, who is the famous boyfriend of hers that was going to marry her, I like how they did his character as well. 
And it was fitting because you need to have a character like him that we hate and we want to root against and we want to root for the underdog. Otherwise, if you don't have that character that breaks her heart and uh, is like an asshole but isn't like... It just doesn't work because then you're not rooting for the underdog. You're kind of like, well, why, why is she doing that? But, man, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed at how much I really like this. I thought some of the jokes were really good and really clever. I'm glad they didn't bring out the... Oh, wow. Like, wow. Like, the Owen Wilson wow. I love that we're not bringing that back. And I really like how they didn't make Owen Wilson's character goofy. He's not a goofy character. He's just a normal, average Joe who is smart. And I like that about him. And he's caring and nice. It's just... This was just really good. I am stunned at how good Married Me was. I was worried about this. Really worried. But I really like this film a lot. I mean, I think some one of the issues I did have, I don't know if it was just me, but there were certain shots where the lens on the camera sort of like was a bit weird on the ants. It was, I don't know, it just, it looked really weird, like on the corner. Like, I don't know if it was just me, because it was the exact same screen I just watched Blacklight on. So, and Blacklight didn't have that problem. So, I don't think it was a screen issue. I think it was just the camera lens that they were using for that shot. It happened a couple of times and I was kind of like, that's a bit weird. Like, they're entering the room here and they just look weird. They look very, like, wonky. And then they come into the middle of the shot and it worked. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else did, but anyone else had that experience as well. Please let me know in the comments below. Or if it was might might have just been me, I don't know. But if that if you guys did experience that, that would be a, that's a bit of an issue for me. But overall, I like this film a lot. I really do. I kind of want to watch it again. I I don't know why, man. I just I really want to watch this rom com again. I really do. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of Marry? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.